guys, it's Lee Natural here, and I am back with another freaking video. And I'm finally doing my Q&A video. I had did it. I'm going to show a clip right here. I got food. Of course, your girl got food because it's a slash mukbang. Mukbang, whatever that word is. I got my favorite thing to get at Chili's is the honey chipotle chicken crispers with fries. And I got broccoli, uh, steamed broccoli as my side, and they better have cooked it. Okay, because they be pissing me off giving me raw broccoli like I'm eating salad, bitch. No, I'm not eating salad. Okay, so. <laughs> oh, you girl gotta get comfortable. Let me get a little bit more comfy. Oh my God. I feel like I'm about to throw up, y'all. I just threw up everywhere, man, while I was recording. Yeah. Like in the middle of my in the middle of my video. <clears throat> yeah, like, but you know, it'd be a lot of pressure to my face and my eyes, so like I was seeing dots everywhere. Freaking fail, okay? So I will not be doing a QA like mukbang while i'm pregnant i'll do a mukbang separately like later once i get like a little bit more subscribers and you know more stuff to talk about i'll do a mukbang like separately from a q a because that happened out of nowhere and i'm just gonna you know let that be what it is i'll just do the q a by itself and then i'll do a mukbang another time so today i got a lot of questions i got about 24 questions in all and I got them all off of from from my subscribers so I'm going to just start from the top from when I first got my questions destiny Elliot asked if you could live anywhere where would it be Dang, that was that question if you could live anywhere where would it be uh, I'm still figuring that out I'm still thinking of places that I would actually want to live but I don't know why, like, I don't know. I just be thinking about Arizona, even though I know anything about Arizona. Like, I don't know nothing about Arizona. But um, that's like one of the places that comes in my head when I think of like somewhere to live. I don't even know how it looks, but either it will probably either be Georgia, Arizona. Can't live in Cali, cause it's, it's something like Florida. One of those, I still don't really know. That's still a thought that i'm thinking about so I'm not sure yet next question what would you tell yourself 10 years ago something you know today i would tell myself everybody is not for you let's put it like that like point blank period not everybody is for you um i don't know that's just the first thing that sticks to my head because like at this point in my life where i am now i'm just to my more to myself because of you know just certain situations i just try to stay to myself not everybody is for you that's what i would say and credit man if i'd have known about credit back then how serious it was credit i'd have told myself about credit too next question is from sunkiss babe what dream job did you want to have as a child i used to want to be when i was younger from what i remember i wanted to be a dentist at one point but for sure, I wanted to be an actress or a singer. Like, growing up, that was my ultimate thing. I also wanted to be a comedian, because I was a freaking class clown, and I used to get in trouble. So, yeah, that's what I wanted to be as a child. How long do you think it took you to perfect, perfect your hair techniques? It took, I'm, I'm still learning, to be honest. I'm still learning every day. Like, I learn something new all the time when it comes to hair, because this is something that I do on a daily basis like this is my thing so um i would say as far as like learning i don't know i'm hands-on so if you show if i if i see it i can do it like you know i can't read something and then i try to do it i have to be like hands-on so i'm pretty quick it doesn't take me long to pick up on anything but you know it took 
it took a couple of years for like coloring, you know, because I've been doing coloring since I was 15. First time I ever colored my hair. Next question is from Tanya Forever. Hey girl. Um, what age did you first start ex to experiment with your hair? I started experimenting, like doing stuff like 15. Like putting color and cutting it and just messing with it, 15. Like really experimenting. Uh, next question, natural hair tips to help come back from heat damage. Um, protective styling, definitely protective styling and trims definitely trims mainly protect the styling because um you want to keep that line of demarcation strong so i would recommend protective styling like some people wear their uh, heat damaged hair out like i wear mine out sometimes but like most of the time i usually will have my hair in a bun or i'll put my braids in and put my wigs on because yeah transitioning from heat damage uh, what's your favorite food? Lasagna. I really love lasagna. I don't get to have it all the time. I don't make it all the time, but I really, really, really like lasagna when I eat it. I love it. I've always loved lasagna. Um, next person. I'm sorry if I say your name wrong. Nafula Wan Yoni. I hope I said it right, babe. Okay. What is in your hospital bag? I'm actually making my hospital bag, so I haven't, you know, done that yet. I don't have anything in the hospital bag, okay? <laughs> it's empty. Next question. How old are your kids? I have a six-year-old, a five-year-old, and a two-year-old. Next question. What names have you picked for the little one in a gender reveal? Daddy. Um, I actually... He's gonna be named after his dad. He is a junior. Um, the gender reveal, we did like a little like picture reveal on Facebook, social media, just saying what we were having. And um, that's how our gender reveal went. And he is a boy. <laughs> Next person, Nappy Happy Drum Major asked, how did you meet your hubby? Me and my husband met in high school. That is my high school sweetheart. How long have y'all been together and what is something you've learned from being married? Me and him have been together for almost 11 years. Um, what have I, something you've learned from being married? Actually haven't learned anything because me and him have been dealing with each other for so long. But as far as being married, I learned that communication is definitely very number like priority like when it comes to marriage you have to communicate and let each other know how you feel about each other or if something is bothering you because if you don't and you let things linger I feel like that's a line of destruction down the line and then years and years of years of not communicating correctly next thing you know you're getting a divorce so I feel like um, I learned that communication is something that me and him like had to like definitely take more serious when we got you know married and everything next person Ashton Jones it says you're glowing thank you question what is it like being pregnant and do you want more children what is it like being pregnant oh my god oh uh, it just it's it's a lot you know it's really hard it's not easy it's super tough so you definitely need to be old enough you know to be able to handle being pregnant um when you're pregnant you just feel like you definitely feel like there's another thing you know there like you definitely feel like there's something else there you feel heavier and mm, way more uncomfortable than before you know so I, I don't really know how to explain, explain what it's like being pregnant like I don't know it, it's a lot it's stressful okay do you want more children no I'm finished this is it I don't want any more children I don't want to have two boys and I'm happy with my three girls. I want my son to be the only boy. And I am done. So four and done. 
finished. I don't want any more children. Next person, spiritual journey locked. Asked, what is something you never done that you've always wanted to do? Um, always wanted to do. I'm not sure, honestly. I've done a lot. Not in that sense, but. Because I'm not really a traveler. I don't really like to travel. I hate planes. <laughs> um, I would say I've never gotten to show my husband snow. And of course my kids. So that's something I want to do. I want to take them to see snow. I want them to see snow and know what it's like. Because they are Floridians. And I am from Carolina. So your girl know all about snow. And I think that's something that I would definitely want to do. Take my family to see snow for the first time. What is the most important thing you have learned in life? Um, I think the most important thing I learned in life is that, who, who the fuck is that? Where? The most important thing I learned in life is that credit is very important, okay? So, Oh, I, oh, that was my answer for this. I think. Okay, my answer for the other question was actually this. So it was switched around. So for that answer was my credit, and this one is the one. Not everybody is for you. That that is the answer I have for this one. Because that, to me, is like the most important thing in life. You need to know that not everybody is for you. And then the other question, that's for the credit. So that was the two. That was my two answers for that. Where do you get your bundles from? Maven. I like using Maven hair. I also trust some other people. It just depends. Um, <clears throat> I have certain companies that will reach out to me to let me try their hair. I try it sometimes, but... Maven is definitely where I like to get bundles from. What type of music do you like? I like trap music and I like r and I'm not too really into pop. I mean, whatever kind of music Trippy Red makes, I don't know what he considers his music, but that is like, I fuck with it like really hard. Like, I think I listen to Trippy Red like every day. Other than that, like, I like trap music and R&B music. How tall are you? I am 5'3". That is my height. 5'3". Okay, what is your occupation? I work from home, and I make wigs, and I sell them. And I sell hair. So that's pretty much what I do. Any long-term goals for what you do? Yes, I definitely want my wig company to continue and grow stronger and bigger um this is something that i see myself doing for the rest of my life because hair is me i love doing hair hair is what i've been doing for years so um the long-term goal is to just make it bigger that's pretty much it make it larger expand it okay kitty jessica asked do you make wigs for other people or only for yourself i make wigs for other people and myself I, if you need a wig email is down below email me whatever kind of wig you're interested in custom units I mainly work with custom orders I do mostly custom hit me up if you need one Maureen Lays asked when is your due date my due date is February the 11th but your girl not gonna wait that long and how many children do you have? I have three children now, and I am having a boy, so we are going to have four children in total. And that's all of my questions for today, guys. That was my Q&A. Um, I'm definitely gonna do a mukbang in the future. I just, I don't recommend doing it now while I'm pregnant because of what happened. You just never know what happens when you're pregnant, so. I hope y'all enjoyed this Q&A, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Don't forget to comment down below 
if you want to be participated in the giveaway because that is something that I'm work excuse me I'm working on right now I'm wanting to pick somebody to give some gifts to so comment down below if you are interested in being a part of the giveaway and make sure you are subscribed to be a part of the giveaway make sure you follow me on Instagram at Lee natural and that's all I'm gonna catch you in the next one bye